This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI Spring football game was held this weekend, and it was a fun family event for all who attended. The defense is filled with a lot of experienced returners that should make the Panthers very competitive next fall. There's a lot of work that needs to be done before the Panthers kick off their season on August 30th at Kinnick Stadium against the Hawkeyes. For an update on the football team's defensive unit, we caught up with defensive coach Jeremiah Johnson. I think they should be excited about the defense. We've got quite a few guys coming back. Um, not so many in the spring, right, but uh, that'll be coming back next fall that have quite a bit of game experience. I mean, it's important to get them back because they're really good football players. Um, you know, if there was a silver lining in it, we got a lot of guys game reps last year that, that maybe weren't ready, I guess you might say, or, or at least we, they were forced to be ready. And so, uh, you know, they got in there and got to play, and, and hopefully we can start to see the rewards as we'll have more depth hopefully this fall as we move forward. I, I think our defensive line will be really good. Um, Xavier's really good. Ike Allis has had a great spring, um, so we're excited about those two guys. Um, you know, with Ray and Tim having practiced a whole lot, Tate's a good player at safety. We've got, you know, I mean, we feel like we've got good players all over the place. Um, and now that all of them have had a chance really to play together for a year, we feel like that's going to help us move forward uh, and be even better than we were last year. I'm excited about this group of linebackers we have. Um, we've got some depth coming back. These guys, uh, they, they really work hard. They want to be great players. And uh, we're just working on that level of physicality, trying to get that to where we want it, and, and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Secondary is, is young, very inexperienced. Um, back there, Mac played quite a bit for us. Ray and uh, Ray Mitchell and Tim Kilfoy have been out for the whole spring. Obviously, Tate played quite a bit last year, so he's around. And uh, some of those younger guys back there are getting quite a few reps right now. Um, so hopefully, we can can increase the depth there and, and get Ray and Tim back as well. It's very critical. Um, you know, we use the spring to kind of get all the base rules and such. We don't really game plan, obviously, our offense or anything, but we get a lot of base rules, base technique in, um, and, and try to get better through fundamentals in the spring. And then in the fall, when we start really game planning for people, we'll start taking things out and, and uh, really narrowing our focus a little bit. The NCAA's changed some rules for us now. Um, obviously the strength part of it and, and agility training will still be there, but now we actually get to, to see those kids two hours a week uh, in the summer, which we haven't gotten to have in the previous year. So hopefully um, we can take all this film from the spring, pick out the really good, pick out the really bad, and, and we can kind of show those things to our kids kind of in an in a install fashion. And uh, hopefully that'll, that'll help us as we move forward, especially if we feel like there's some young kids or some, some transfers that might have to help us next fall. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, we think there's quite a few guys that, that will have the chance to help us sooner rather than later. Um, you know, once they get here and we can actually get our hands on them and, and get to work with them. And, and, you know, I mean, you never know with, with new guys, but what we feel like we recruit are a bunch of kids that love to play football and want to play it our way. Um, which is a physical, fast Panther football. So we're excited about it. We've stayed healthy for the most part, minus the kids that, that have been out. We haven't, we haven't gotten anybody injured this spring, knock on wood. Uh, and so we're excited about you know, keeping everybody out here for 15 practices and, and everybody continuing to get better. A reminder to sign up for UNI football season tickets for the 2014 season. While you're at it, you should register to attend the Panthers' second game of the year when they face off against the University of Hawaii in Honolulu on September 13th. 